30 days without alcohol. What the heck happened? Well, let's get into it. Hey, hey, JB here. As always, this is more of a community than a channel. We have a blast uh, with Morning Coach as we rock and roll. And the last couple months have been a lot of fun. Uh, I've been doing a lot of different things. We're launching new products, new programs, uh, just rocking and rolling it. And I got to show you, it is just gorgeous outside here at the retreat center today. Uh, it's just beautiful. The weather's unbelievable uh, as I go into my 32nd day without alcohol. But I decided to, to give it up uh, really on July 4th. And you look at this calendar, you'll see the red spots right after July 4th were a couple times I drank in the last 60 days. But I haven't been drinking for 30 days and, and really have, you know, 32 days as of today. But I want to kind of show you some of the results of my WHOOP data. We can kind of look at what happened uh, as I quit drinking. So first of all, let's look at restorative sleep. Uh, this is uh, really understanding REM sleep versus, uh, you know, uh, regular sleep. And as you can see, my restorative sleep was up by uh, 21 seconds or 21 minutes actually. Uh, in August. So I had more restorative sleep. My sleep performance is actually down a little bit. And I think that equates to July really not being a drinking month. As I mentioned, I only drank twice in July, uh, but I did in increase uh, some restorative sleep. One of the things also I think is important to mention is I'm doing an ice uh, plunge almost every morning. I'm doing a sauna, 180 degrees, and then an ice plunge almost every single morning. Uh, for at least four or five days a week. And I think that's part of the reason I'm getting these improvements as well as getting rid of alcohol. So you can kind of see we had some sleep deficiency here in a couple days, uh, but the restorative sleep uh, has been pretty good. I had some stress at the end of August. I was, we were launching some new programs. Didn't really sleep well, and you'll see that in some of my HRV numbers. My breakdown, my training breakdown has been pretty normal. I'm playing a lot of golf, uh, typically uh, kayaking uh, out here at the lake. Running is another activity that I do a lot. And you can see that my duration is about normal. I'm kind of staying in the same rate there. Um, heart rate zones, this is again training. We're not gonna get into training too much because it's pretty similar. It's just really a not drinking. Our strain, again, uh, this is interesting to see that, you know, some of my worst strain and recovery days are post drinking. In fact, when we come to recovery here and we look at this, the majority of these, if we look back at the, the last couple of years or the last year to August, uh, September 22, these red days, which are red, low recovery, are typically drinking days. So anytime I drink, it really uh, hinders, hinders my recovery. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I decided to give up alcohol. Uh, sleep performance, again, here's another look at sleep performance. Uh, we can tie in to take a look at previous year and where we're at with things. Uh, your average was 87%, 89%. We're up to 91, 90%. So we're seeing some improvement there. And then we get into the data um, that I that I like, which is HRV. We'll get into this. Uh, you can kind of see some overreaching. Again, typically these peaks are drinking days that where I actually really, uh, the strain was so high from the alcohol and it caused these massive peaks. And again, you can kind of see it here in HRV ad adaptation, which I think is really critical. Uh, as you can see, 53 is where I was before in March of 23, and I'm, I've gone up to 65 on average, 67 in July, which is great. Started the month off again, that was the end of the month, kind of there was a drinking there when we started in July, and there was some drinking here. These massive dips that you see, are all recovery from alcohol. Like if I went out and drank a little bit, uh, and usually I drink a little too much, to be honest, I drink a, a little more than the average person. And so you can see these massive dips in my HRV, but we're seeing an overall trend of increase, which is great. You can see I had a little dip here. This was a stress. This was all stress related, no alcohol, but we had some really nice H HRV peaks and we're starting to get that 65 you know, and HRV, by the way, is individual. So everybody's individually uh, represented here. 82 was my highest I've ever gotten one day. But as you can see, I am increasing uh, my overall health. And then as we look into resting heart rate, this is another adaptation. You can kind of see we're at 51 here, 53 was going up, 52, 52. Then I started my non-drinking uh, kind of trend. And you can see the other spike. These spikes up are when I drank. And so there's real data that shows that it's affecting me physically. Uh, when I'm drinking, um, that's part of the issue. So 
Uh, I do wear my Whoop on my tricep. I've worn it for about two and a half, three years. It's a tracking device that I keep here. Uh, I do have the Apple Watch. I do have the Aura Ring, but since I play golf and I work out a lot with my hands, I don't like to have the ring on. It 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 bangs around. I do like the sleep data that comes from the Aura Ring, uh, but it does uh, the Whoop works a little bit better. Another big thing that I've been doing is meditation. Uh, I've been working with the Muse device. I've done some videos on here on the channel and the meditation I think is helping too. But overall, my energy levels are increasing. I see myself, my sleep's getting better. And I think the most important part is I'm really helping my clients achieve so much more because of my clarity. In fact, I've, I've gotten, you know, I, I don't know if you know, you know, what I do day in and day out, but I do, you know, my daily coaching every single day. And I, I've done over 5,000 episodes and my clients are starting to realize, you know, wow, JV, and I, I talk about everything that I do, the training and the new uh, uh, moving away from alcohol is really affecting even my performance there. And my professional golfers, my professional athletes, my CEOs, my business professionals, my professional experts who are building their own businesses are seeing a notice, uh, a difference in me uh, as I'm working on my fifth book and really bringing some great information uh, to change their lives and help them structure their businesses uh, and perform at a super high level. So it's been a really great month. I'm continuing down the path. I have really no urge to drink at this point. Uh, I do have some Guinness non-alcoholic that I like that if I ever have like a taste for a beer, uh, I'll drink that. One thing I will tell you this month is since I really gave it up is I've had a sugar craving and I've had some ice cream uh, once in a while and I think that has affected me at night. I've gotten some Dairy Queen, I know, and I've eaten some big blizzards, uh, large blizzards. I'm talking large blizzards. And, uh, and I think that's affected my sleep a little bit in a couple of different days. Working to get away from the caffeine. I've been doing the update drinks. Still like my Celsius once in a while. I think late caffeine in a day doesn't help your numbers either. But overall, energy is off the charts. I do want to start gaining a little bit of weight, uh, start eating a little bit more. And I'm talking about good weight, muscle quality. But at 54, you know, I'm doing pretty good. Great energy, feeling amazing. And I know getting rid of the alcohol has been a big thing for me. It's, it's really been hard to um, kind of move away from it, but I really feel I'm allergic, like my body just doesn't handle it right, and I feel just so sluggish and horrible, but it is funny with the sugar cravings. No alcohol cravings, but I do get sugar cravings. Uh, people always ask, what about going to bars and stuff? I've been to bars, I don't really have a problem with the social aspect of it. It's more for me, I just grew up with it, and it was part of my life, and I just, you know, I have a few beers or some Jack and Cokes or Jack and Gingers, and you know, those led to a few more and a few more. And, and, you know, I do everything all out. So some of the times I've drank have been a little too much. Not 100% against it. It's not. It's one of those things that you say, oh my gosh, I'll never drink again. I can't say that. I just don't have any urge to. You know, I'm going to bed at, at the right times. I'm getting good sleep. And we're really having amazing results in our business, not only for me, but for other people. And I think that's what's critical. So 30 days, I just want to share some data with you. I'll keep you posted. Uh, as always, if you like what we're doing here, hey, jump in the, and subscribe because we have a lot of fun. And uh, I, I appreciate you. I'm very thankful that you're part of this community. And we'll keep rocking and rolling right here uh, with the Morning Coach YouTube channel. And of course, those of you looking for, if you're a professional expert or looking to, to grow your business or build, uh, reach out to us over at morningcoach.com. Love to work with you on a daily basis. We're having a, a blast just really seeing people's lives being changed. And that's what I'm all about. All right, so go have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. You rock for staying to the end. You can subscribe by hitting my face there, and YouTube's going to suggest a video right here. Hopefully, you'll get a chance to watch that and have some fun. Lots of love. Go have a fantastic day.